pretty awesome thing to be able to work on the same property that you grew up on as a kid. And this studio is built in uh, the barn. When I was a kid, the barn was this frightening place, especially at night. Sometimes someone would leave the light on in the barn and you'd have to go out and shut it off. And I remember walking across the backyard and uh, going to the barn, you'd shut the lights off and you'd get out as quick as you could because it was kind of creepy in there. I ended up in a band called Dakona that was signed to Maverick Records under Madonna and took some of that money and we built the beginning of the studio here. It's just been an awesome spot to, to make music without any pressure and to develop songs. It just feels like the world's kind of far away here. And uh, that's, I think, the beauty of this place. I think that also comes across to the people that come here. I think they, they feel a sense of just relaxation and just, uh, there's a vibe to it where um, you don't feel pressured and just being able to create create music and, and develop ideas. Um, I've known Ryan for about uh, four or five years now. Formed a friendship with him from there and uh, when I needed to do a new record, I knew who to call and, and uh, I flew over from Toronto to do it. Um, the, the, the atmosphere of the studio is great. I like that Ryan is, just has a great attitude about how things work out here and, and uh, encouraging you to get the best possible performance you can for each each track that you're recording. Sonically wise, it's not going to get any better than a studio like this. You're not going to get any better quality of recording. Uh, it's, it's great. He's got all the, all the gear you need to make sure everything goes smoothly. And a thing like this, it's in, you know, like a unique barn. and you just It's its kind of unassuming. You walk into it and then all of a sudden you just walk into this beautiful studio. Um, which, you know, gives you a good feeling about where you're recording and what you're doing. And uh, there's always mixed in good times. So, I'll record here again. Can you give me something to believe in? To make me feel at home? Give me something to believe in? Oh, when the world won't let me go. Can you give me something? Let's go track that. I've had a lot of, um, a lot of experience recording in uh, the last decade and, and been able to record in some big rooms and, you know, in, in San Francisco and in LA and Vancouver and in New York and Toronto. And uh, I've always found um, every studio it seems I've been to in the past has been in some industrial area. I don't know, I just, I wanted to make a, a place where people could step outside and go pick some raspberries, or go uh, listen to the coyotes, or look up at the stars. Come on in, I'll show you around. This is the place where I spend most of my time, you know, whether I'm engineering or whether I'm doing some overdubs or, or whatever, I spend a lot of time in this room. And it's a pretty inspiring place to work. I got the two windows here which look out over an old cedar forest in the back and uh, you know I've been in a lot of studios where you you don't really see any daylight because everything's black everything's soundproofed and windowless and I just I wanted this place to be a little bit different so we can see the world got a lot of gear in here this is one of my favorite pieces the organ this is an old uh, a100, which is uh, basically the same guts as a Hammond B3 organ. And then over here, we have the tracking room. When we were building this, I was kind of, I was kind of wishing it was a little bit bigger. But now that it's all finished, I think it's about the perfect size. It's not, it's not so big that it's going to cost artists more to come in. But it's, it's big enough where they can all set up their gear and be comfortable. <laughs> So this is um, this is the kitchen area here, kitchen and bathroom over there. Lovely little bathroom, shower. Finest china here for use with our clients. Yeah, you're in an old converted barn, so don't be too picky. We wanted to have bands come in here and uh, be able to have that big studio feel, but in an environment that's that's way more relaxed. 
and just um, just kind of nurtures that whole creative process. And I think we've done that. And uh, it's called Five Acres. Uh, my name's Ryan McAllister, and uh, you can look us up at fiveacres.ca, and uh, hopefully see you soon. Yeah, Thanks. you got a long way.